Press pause and answer the question. So this one should have been a little bit easier based on our discussion of the last one. So it's pretty much saying the same thing. We have an average temperature of our cars of 123 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're saying we have a margin of error of 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit at 95% confidence level. So based on our sample size and based on how far away from the mean our cars were, we have a 95% chance that the true average for all the cars in the parking lot is between 123 degrees minus 2.5 degrees, which is 120.5, and 123 degrees plus 2.5 degrees, which is 125.5. So it's saying pretty much the same thing we said last time. Now our question is, if researchers were to include more cars in their sample, what is the most reasonable result? And the correct answer is this one. The margin of error would decrease. The margin of error is this 2.5 degrees, so as we include more cars in our sample, we're getting closer and closer to testing all the cars in the parking lot. So we feel more and more confident that our 123 degrees Fahrenheit measurement is in fact the true average of all the cars had we measured them all. So if we measure them all, we're going to get some average. We're measuring some portion of them. If we measure more of that portion, then we feel more confident. And if we feel more confident that 123 is correct, then our margin of error is going to decrease. It's going to go from 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe down to 2 or even 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit, as we test more and more cars and get closer and closer and more confident that what we found is the true average of all the cars in the parking lot.